वेलकम यू ऑल टू साई कथाएं दिस इज आर सीरीज ऑन द इलेवन अश्योरेंसेस ऑफ श्री साई बाबा वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड द लिंक फॉर द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द प्रीवियस अश्योरेंसेस इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड इट शल आल्सो अपीयर टू यू एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो प्लीज डू गो थ्रू देम एंड डू हिट द लाइक बटन एंड इफ यू लाइक आर कंटेंट प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड स्टे कनेक्टेड The next and the sixth assurance of Baba is Sharana Majala Ani Vaya Gelala Dakava Dakava Hai Sa Kodi. When translated, it means "Show me, do show me, anyone who sought refuge in me and was forsaken." through intense study and meditation knowledge of baba's universal omnipresence has been gained by devotees his presence as described in chapter 19 of the shri sai sat charitra ov 213 is all pervasive he says i am present everywhere in water that is the vast oceans rivers and streams and I am on land in every nook and corner of the earth and even in the radiant sky. I reside in the trees and forests and even a dry twig is not devoid of me. I am among the multitude of inhabitants that live on the earth and in the deserts and in the wilderness dotted over the world. I am pervading this country and in the foreign lands nor am i confined to any one country this is the sarva sakshi that is his all pervasive universal form that witnesses all events and happenings in the universe now is the right time to take the next step in our journey this is the time to seek refuge in him by surrendering our mind ego pride and our entire self to him this process is not as easy as it sounds an app example of this difficult process is das ganu maharaj das ganu was with baba for a long period of time and was given ample proof of baba's divinity through numerous leelas yet das ganu did not accept baba as his guru das ganu's guru was vaman shashi islampurkar and he received the shiva mantra upadesh from him in 1919 das ganu met a celibate saint and was drawn to him das ganu tried to meet him a several times but was unsuccessful then he got an opportunity to meet him and when he went to see him he asked the saint why was he not allowed to meet him previously the saint replied you call yourself a kirtankar and yet you are puffed with pride and ego das ganu replied that everyone has an ego and every action is performed with an underlying ego and only the worst form of ego must be shunned the saint wanted das ganu to become completely egoless and then he said didn't you get the blessed ganga flowing from the feet of baba and what did you do with it das ganu replied he sprinkled some on his head the saint asked you didn't drink it because you thought you were a high class brahmin and baba a muslim saint and you would get polluted by drinking it if it was difficult for das ganu who was constantly in baba's divinity then imagine how difficult it would be for us to surrender completely and totally to baba the next step is to know the true form of baba that resides in the heart and soul of each and every being thus many questions arise who is he who resides in the soul of every human being where does he reside 
is it in the antakarna chatustya how to find him and what does the antakarna chatustya mean there are many questions like that and answers are not found just by reading religious texts you have to meditate on them to find satisfactory answers thus this process of research starts with the sixth promise the antakarna chatustya is a complex four component system it consists of mana or mind chit or consciousness buddhi or intellect and ahamkar or ego of all the components ahamkar or ego is a component which leads to self discovery it is responsible for the feeling of i me in mind and it forcibly drags you into the vicious cycle of maya thus you get involved in the false impression of i me and mind and the feelings like i did this or that because i am affluent i can donate money the sense of i and me entangles you into a web of illusion the moment this state of fantasy is clearly understood that is the moment you recognize that the lord resides in your soul and that it is the key to the sixth promise gradually you realize that what you thought was i me and mine actually was never yours then you ask the eternal question who am i subsequently you realize that you are a tiny speck of the minute part of the omnipresent baba the lord cleverly made this earth a stage and each of us actors in the drama of life with utter iniquity he made you a clay puppet and blew a tiny self of him into you and sent you here little did you realize that you are getting entangled into the web of illusion with every breath you took if that is not enough he gave you a set of rules you must live by these rules are known as karma karma is divided into 3 which is karma karma yoga and karma phal karma comes from the root word kru which means to do karma phal is the action of present life with consequences to be born in later births sanchita karma is stockpile of deeds and actions present in previous life and prarabdha is our destiny the karmic cycle starts long before our birth but in this life your karma start at a very young age and have to go through the various ashramas of life at each ashrama there are a different set of karmas you get married and entangled in a different set of responsibilities and perform different karmas and get entangled into the web of illusion now to come out of this we seek refuge in god this is not an easy task as you may have to make yourself worthy of his blessings and to get to do this you have to completely surrender to baba this can be achieved only when we can surrender our man chit buddhi and ahankar at his feet and there is a no trace of i and me left if your surrender is complete then you start recognizing the atma swarupi that is the divine energy of baba who is seated in your soul when you have sought refuge in him and he has accepted you as a devotee then how can your devotion be wasted once you have become one with the lord then how does the question of being forsaken arise once the river merges into the sea is there any difference between the sea and the river then when the jivatma merges with the paramatma can there be any difference just 
as a salt doll immersed in the ocean merges and become one with the ocean so we merge with baba and become one with him this is the journey we undertook to seek refuge in lord sainath and realized that we can never be forsaken hence baba always said show me do show me anyone who sought refuge in me and was forsaken in the next video we shall discuss the seventh assurance of baba and if you like this video please do hit the like button please do share this video with your friends relatives and other devotees of sai and for more such content please hit the subscribe button om sai ram